The world's most advanced solar cars are preparing to compete in this year's Bridgestone World Solar Challenge, which starts on Sunday in the Australian city of Darwin. Solar cars from all over the world will be taking part in the 3,000-kilometre race from Darwin to Adelaide. The CEO of South Australian Motorsports Board, Mark Warren, said the atmosphere between competitors was awesome. The Bridgestone World Solar Challenge this year has been fantastic with the, the camaraderie that between the teams. It's, it feels like an Olympic village in terms of that uh, rivalry between nations, but it's friendly rivalry. And I think particularly when you look at uh, some of the innovations that are happening in the vehicles this year, they've really embraced the new regulations. And uh, when we come through scrutineering here today, we're finding out all the little details that uh, we just weren't expecting. So it's going to be a fantastic event. The Australian Team Arrow from the state of Queensland managed to secure the pole position. Team leader Cameron Chewsley said he was overwhelmed. Oh, absolutely mind-boggling, honestly. We, we've built this car with a tenth of the budget of the leading teams here. We've got a 20-year-old motor in the back of it, and we've just managed to beat some of the world's best universities and engineering companies, so we are absolutely over the moon. 40 teams from 23 countries will commence the race on Sunday, most of them hoping to beat Japan's Team Tokai, the winner of the 2009 and 2011 challenges.